Drama because I feel like that's more underrated. Uh, well, drama boosts a lot of your soft skills as well as your creativity, essay writing. I know overall it just gives you a lot. It also helps with your organizational skills when you try to make the scripts, organize productions. So it's given me lots as a subject. So is history. But yeah, a lot of people tend to look down on drama. Um, what is the most underrated subject? I would say art because many people don't know what they can do and they just say I'm bad at art and just leave it. That's what I did. But when I actually do an exam, I found out that I can do much more than just leave it. Uh, computer science is underrated. A lot of people say it's like, oh, boring, but it's actually pretty fun. In your opinion, what is the most underrated subject? Maths. Any other reason? Because I have an awesome teacher, and also like uh, some of the teachers that are actually very well, such as Mr. Lawrence, Ms. Manager, and Mr. Katz as well. Um, so, what is the most underrated subject in your opinion? In my opinion, the most underrated subjects are languages, French, Spanish, because not a lot of people take the core A level. Teacher. Underrated subjects? Yes. I don't think anyone would underrated that. I think everyone has its own uh, unique uh, contribution to make to the curriculum. Yeah. So I don't think everyone's underrated. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> have you had that question? Have you had that answer before? No. No. Okay. Yeah, that's what I would say. I'd say I don't think anyone's underrated at all. Uh, I think they all have their equal um, equal share of the curriculum, and I think um, everything is, uh, from my point of view, as, as a teacher, I think everyone, all of them are equal. Right, thanks. Okay. In your opinion, what is the most underrated subject? Sociology. I think people think that it's boring. I think people think that it's boring or that um, it doesn't really have much credibility. Because 